Okay, so what are test policy and test strategy? On the model of how testing happens or how testing is organized in an organization, test policy and test strategy are simply the two main organizational level documents. The test policy and test strategy are the organization-wide documents which more or less give the framework on what the organization uh, should be doing, basically answering to the questions who, why, when, how, with what tools and with what budget. So basically the test policy defines the main, uh, main lines of action regarding testing work and test strategy gives more or less the rule book on what the organization will do when doing testing work. The testing strategy or test strategy can vary between different types of projects. There's usually only one test policy because it's a generic document enough to just give an idea on who is the uh, person giving okay for the project to deliver the product or who makes the decision on when we are uh, done with the beta testing phase Whereas the test strategy more or less is aimed towards the objectives of the project. For example, project making the next ma major version of the company product probably works differently than project which only adds one new feature or tailors the existing product for a new customer. In any case, the test policy and test strategy are used to generate the test plan and uh, phase or method specific sp uh, sub plans for testing in the project level. So, considering all these things, there's a, a short summary on what test policy and test strategy should have. The test policy has the purpose of defining the scope of software testing within the organization. It means that it establishes the practices and rules regarding testing. This means that it gives the rules and practices which everyone in the organization should adhere to. It establishes a framework for, uh, for establishing, reviewing and continually improving organizational test policy, test strategy and project test plans, meaning that this more or less should dictate that we are gathering uh, measurements, metrics, and that the con organization should at least try to do continuous uh, development of their actions or the processes to ens uh, ensure that everything in the later in life happens uh, somewhat correctly and there's no outdated parts or unnecessary things happening in the organization. It also defines what is done in testing in the organization, but keep in mind that the test policy, uh, policy is intended to be short. It's, less than, it's two pages or less than two pages. It doesn't say how the testing is performed, that's the job of test strategy, but it uh, tells us who makes the decisions and what should be done in general in testing work. And it also tells us how these testing activities and how these testing activities in which we are doing for product should support the business strategy and the mission of the company and uh, other way around how the business strategy can be used uh, to ensure, for example, that certain types of testing like customer testing are actually done. The test policy has the idea that it's an executive level document which isn't really that technical and it's short so that everyone has time to read it and uh, understand what the main message is. The other one is the test strategy which is more or less the more technical document. It defines the practices of software testing within the organization, it defines the framework, the tools, the resources, the overall guidelines on how testing should be done in the organization and how the test plans should be created. And it also defines the reusable sets of uh, 
different things like rules and templates and frameworks and test environments and test automation suits which should be available for different types of projects. But to keep in mind that the test strategy is not necessarily just one document. It may, you may have several test strategies for different types of projects, but there's usually at least one main strategy for the most common type of development projects, as there is a usual plan-driven or design-first approach for doing the main development cycles and then there's agile scrum projects for working with one-off customers or doing feature development for existing projects, uh, products. Similarly, there's a test, test strategy for the main development and there's test strategy for the smaller projects. Of course, the test strategy should always reflect the ideas of test policy and the test strategy should always give information or guidelines which are implementable in the project level. The test plan, the test master plan and the sub plans are created and defined based on test strategy of course meaning that if there's a resource like tool or method or activity which is uh, defined or imposed by the test strategy, there of course should be enough resources like time or money to arrange for such thing in the project. Uh, of course this may be problematic in some cases, but the test strategy should be high level enough that it offers enough tools to create the project specific test plan but doesn't actually dictate things that simply are impossible to do. This also means that even though the test strategy is more technical documentation than for example test policy, it's still relatively short because it more or less defines only the main guidelines and can give you pointers to for example where you can find the list of available tools or where you can find the manuals for training your new testing personnel or where you can find the project templates or the project repositories for storing and safekeeping source code or already existing modules or assets that your project has developed. So overall the idea is that the policy gives the executive summary of what the testing should be doing. The test strategy gives the general guidelines or the rule book which tells us who does testing, when testing is done, how it's done, why it's done, when can we stop, when should we start, what sort of resources, tools, personnel and expectations each project should have to complete their own quality assurance and testing tasks.